Hello folks, uh, in the last video we developed a small flask uh, sample app to get acquainted with the you know uh, flask uh, web framework. So in this video we are going to create the backend of web app uh, for our uh, profit prediction uh, model uh, and which actually is, uh, will take uh, inputs from the user in terms of state uh, where the startup is situated, R&D spend, administer spend, and marketing spend values. And once we click the submit button on the web page, uh, it will show the predicted profit amount for that startup, uh, thereby helping um, venture capitalists to take decision whether they should invest in the startup or not. So we will be loading a multiple linear regression models, pickled or saved file, which we created in the uh, or uh, and saved in the previous videos. Uh, so the idea is to load the uh, saved model to provide predictions. Okay, so let's create uh, the app.py file uh, for this particular uh, uh, model prediction web app. So this will be the actual uh, backend app for our. Um, uh, project okay so let's come out of this uh, term not terminal in fact from this command so control C is the command to terminate uh, this uh, running of this particular uh, app which we ran earlier by calling python app.py right so what we will do is uh, let's do one thing first so okay uh, what we'll do is we will make the changes in this particular app only uh, what will uh, what we will do is we will uh, comment out the uh, code which is not required here okay so first of all uh, what we need to do is <coughs> we need to um, install certain packages okay so pip install pandas mm. then we have numpy numpy site git learn or scipy and what else requests okay uh, so this package basically involves in uh, getting and posting the request to the web server okay um what else so these four packages for now or maybe what we can do is uh job lib is internal to it so i think yeah these four for now and we'll see if any other package is required we will install then and there Okay, so till the time these packages gets uh, installed, what we'll do is we'll make changes in our app so that uh, we can make it for our uh, actual project, uh, working for actual project. So what we'll do is uh, we will comment this particular portion. And in here, so I, I told you in the last videos that whatever logic you want to get executed on the web page, that comes in between this particular statement and these two statements so whatever comes here that will be executed on the web page so for this particular app let me create a home page so slash represent the home page of it and i will change the name of the function as home okay and here okay let's import import pandas as pd and import numpy as np okay and in the here we'll also include render template function okay template and requests okay so the render template what it will do is we will call a particular web page uh, 
using this return random uh, render template so basically what we will do is in the return section in return section we will do render template and name of the html file so home.html now this home.html what we will do is uh, we will create a folder here with the name template okay so what we will do is whatever html files we create for our project we will keep those html files in this template folder okay because uh, there has to be a dedicated place from where uh, these uh, to keep these uh, web pages html pages at one place okay so in here we will create a new file called home dot html which is nothing but our html page okay for home home page basically we'll include the code for uh, the home page here uh, later on uh, but for now we are just creating this backend so home page will be our front end and the app.py is the backend which will run as web service on the web servers at uh, web server at remote uh, location or the remote web server okay so this is one piece of code let's see our uh, package gets installed or not so it is still installing here okay now next piece of code is we'll create another decorator here so we'll create another decorator with the name app dot route and this time we will create endpoint as predict okay so predict will be the endpoint here and the methods will be both get and post so get is to get the uh, response from the web server remote web server and post is to post any values which are present on the web page to the web server for further process okay so this is our predict endpoint where the predicted value so once we click the submit button on the home page the result the final result or the predicted result will be shown on a new page and at the new uh, endpoint okay so here and we will include the logic for uh, that prediction is uh, in this particular place okay so <clears throat> what we can do is we can create again a new function with the name tab predict okay and and we will say if request dot method so method is either get or post right so the request or so in our case we will be submitting the value so once we enter the values uh, I showed you the demo app so I, I entered the values for state uh, California Florida New York and uh, for uh, you know all the other spend values on the web page so once we click the submit button it will go as a post request okay so that's why i am including the if condition as post here and then we will and we will write the code like in try block statements so try uh, try catch basically so uh, the idea is to uh, you know if there is any error that error can be uh, caught in these statements so kind of a um, what can i say uh, error handling so we are doing error handling here right so try and accept statements okay and we will include our code in between this try accept statements so value error any generic error okay and once the uh, you know the prediction is uh, presented in a successful manner it should be 
available on the another page so we will be creating another page which will be a prediction web page okay where our final predicted result will be shown so we are creating a new html file with the name predict.html where the final predicted result will be presented okay so two files in this template folder so what we will be returning is just like in home page we are returning the home home page return render, render template uh, render template so i will be returning prediction dot html file here okay so render template and then uh, name of the file which is prediction or predict in our case it is predict dot html okay and further what we will include is so we will be uh, you know uh, predicting uh, basically we will be including the uh, pickled file here in this particular uh, block and uh, the idea is to basically uh, so once that uh, um, pickled file is uh, loaded here and we will pr provide the values from the home page then the final result will be presented to predict.html file correct so or i will include this piece of code later on okay uh, so in this particular uh, uh, video what we did was we installed certain uh, important packages here okay and then uh, we have written certain code state uh, code blocks to uh, predict uh, the values and present them as html on html pages so we created two html pages as well let me include uh, one more statement here because obviously uh, we will be uh, loading uh, the pickled file so we need to have the job lib method as well so sklearn learn dot externals okay and import job lib because if you remember we uh, saved our model using job lib ma method only job lib dot dump right so here we will be using job lib dot load okay so yeah this is so this is it for this video uh, folks uh, i will be including the rest of the code statements uh, or covering the remaining code statements in the next video so till then keep on watching thank you